So I'm reviewing the My First Coding book. This one has been in the family for some years now as it was one of the first coding resources I bought for my son. It's a unique interactive book designed to introduce kids to the programming basics. This book uses flaps, sliders and puzzles to explain various complex coding concepts without the need for a computer. It covers essentials like loops, conditionals, debugging and variables with bright, engaging illustrations and everyday scenarios kids can relate with. It's aimed at making something, again, quite complex like learning coding, fun and interactive. Also, because of its format, it's accessible to all so kids can start learning coding basics anywhere in the world and whether they have a computer or not. Beyond the example scenarios in the book, there are no actual exercises. So I think that's important to know if you're looking for a workbook to actually do physical exercises, this isn't it. And while the book is aimed at younger learners, vocabulary like decomposition and variables might be a bit challenging for them. But nonetheless, these are terms that they would come across on any good coding app, so it is true to its purpose. My overall take is that it's great for introducing programming in a fun, hands-on way, and I would rate it a solid 4 out of 5 stars for its creative approach to learning. But you don't have to take my word for it. I've asked my 8-year-old, who studied it in his early coding days many moons ago, <laughs> what he thought of it in hindsight and here is his take well it was nice it was nice when i was younger because it says bugs in the code and and code lines mm -hmm. like if and else yeah what's the way put simpler in yes or no so some of the things in this book do you see them in the everyday code that you use on your, the apps and the programs that you use? For some of the terminologies, do you remember them? Yeah, I, I remember doing if, I still do if and else. Mm -hmm. And I and I got bugs in, bugs in the code lots of times. Okay, you get bugs in your code lots. Yeah, <laughs> so, then, so then, and then I, I see the bug find out how to fix it, then fix it. So we find that glove there, yeah. that glove coming out. Yeah. We'll move the, we'll move the glove. Yeah, so and then it could continue down the sequence. But, yeah. So how do you feel about this as an introduction to coding without a computer? Do you mm. think you can still learn? Yeah, I could read it and then and then, find, and then and then remember the key points to it mm -hmm. and then after when i actually am on on it on the computer i remember i remember and and use it and use it then okay i got it thanks son okay.